Welcome back. We'll carry on with this profit and loss statement. So in this video we're going to start putting in the formulas. So this profit and loss statement will total things automatically. So equals sum bracket the two above close bracket. So that will give you the total of your sales once figures are entered at the top there. Products for resale. If we click equals or equals sorry, go on the monthly accounts click on products for resale the total at the bottom click enter you may have this value appear um, it's because we've merged the cells on the previous page so just delete the first let's see the last four characters delete that gross profit equals the sales minus the products for resales enter and that will give us our gross profit and expenditure. This will be updated automatically. Like so. So what I'm doing here, I'm clicking equals, going on the tab before finding the total for that code. You'll have that value appear. We'll do the rest of them and I'll show you how to clear that value off. So wages is there, the total for wages, enter. And we want to delete those, it's five, there we go, five characters. Like so. And then our net profit will be our gross profit minus the expenditure. So minus bracket, all of them, close bracket, enter. Oh, sum, sorry, put sum after the minus, like so. If we go back to the first spreadsheet and enter the sales, some highlights in the sales and down at the bottom right will give us our sum there. So 850. I'm just going to put in some more sales so it shows a healthy profit with this statement. So twelve hundred pounds. You see that total's been a, the closing balance. The account bank account's been updated. Add all them together. That's two thousand and fifty. That total has been automatically updated under income. And I'll just add in some more expenses so you'll see that the expenditure codes are updated automatically on the profit and loss statements. Let's put some wages in. So it was zero before on the profit and loss because there was zero under wages. If we put £200 under there and go back to the profit and loss statement, you'll see £200 has appeared and given us a net profit of £1,050 or dollars.